hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in this video we are going to set up data collection rules and see how we can collect virtual machine logs with data collection rules and uh, log analytics agents or you can say virtual machine uh, azure monitor linux agent or windows agent how we can collect the logs using data collection rules from virtual machines and uh, post it to log analytics workspace and from there we can get the logs and we can even set up the alert rules or whatever you want to do with that logs we can do that so like this way we can enable the uh, monitoring in our virtual machine or you can also say the application logs monitoring okay so let's set up the data collection rules for that you can just search it as data collection rules so you'll get that in services here if not you can go in azure monitor search for monitor and here in monitor if you come here inside settings you'll get the data collection rules here also you can create the DCR, DCE as well and you can do the logs monitoring. So now let's create on create data collection rules. Here select the resource group. and you can set the platform like uh, what is the platform type that is windows linux or if you want to do it for all the platforms you can select all all or if your vm is uh, linux vm you can select linux okay and if you have data collection endpoint what is data collection endpoint it is used to post the data as well for the virtual machines if you have if you need uh, data for i mean you if you need to collect data other than windows event logs linux syslog or performance counter okay so suppose you want to take some logs from particular folder by creating some custom table in log analytics workspace for that you will have to create the data collection endpoint okay so in this video we are just uh, understanding the basics of it dcr so just we'll uh, not create the data collection endpoint in upcoming videos we will set up data collection rules data collection endpoints virtual machines and log analytics workspace and we will uh, enable or we'll achieve the end-to-end -end workflow like how we can collect the logs and uh, supply it to log analytics workspace okay now let's click on resources okay here you will have to add the resource in data collection rules you will have to add your virtual machines so that you can collect the logs from those virtual machines okay so here you will have to uh, add your virtual machine you will have to select it and click on add so that your virtual machines will be added and what this data collection rule do they will do that uh, with that virtual machine in the back end this will basically enable system managed identity okay in that virtual machine and uh, this will install azure monitor linux agent if that is windows uh, sorry the linux machine or this that is it will window it will install windows agent if your virtual machine is windows okay based on your uh, os uh, based on your virtual machine operating system this will basically install the agent so that that agent will collect the logs from that particular folder or event logs or something like that and it will again uh, bring it to log analytics workspace okay so from here as well you can add resource you can add your virtual machine and you can create the endpoints data collection endpoints as well 
using that data collection endpoint your vm will be able to communicate with data collection rules and log analytics workspace okay so now let's click on next and here you will have to add the data source if you click on add a data source you will have a few of the options like what you want performance counters or linux logs or you want to uh, collect custom text log custom json logs or these metrics so these three you can only enable if you have data collection endpoint created and you have selected that these three will not work without data collection endpoint you can uh, use only performance counters and linux log using only data collection rules so let's now select the log analytics sorry the linux logs and select the uh, things like which you want log alert or what are all if you want you can select everything okay <clears throat> now select the destination here you will have to add the destination that means your log analytics workspace where your logs would be going to from your virtual machine if you click on add a destination you will have to add the destination type is your monitor log subscription and here you will have to select your log analytics workspace so that your logs will be coming from the virtual machine and it will be sent to the data collection rule from there it will be moving to the workspace which you have attached here in the destination okay like this you can add multiple log analytics workspace as well okay so here you will have to add the destination as well and you will have to uh, add the data source once you have added it you can click on next you will have to add the tags and click on review plus create once this is created you will be able to see your dcr has been created okay and uh, you will see the data source along with all the resources so at that moment we don't have data uh, the virtual machines created and also the log analytics workspace created because this is just a intro video of data collection rules and what is the data collection rule in upcoming video i will uh, I will tell you what can be the end-to-end -end flow of creating data collection rule, creating data collection endpoint, creating log analytics workspace, creating log analytics custom table, and installing the Azure monitor agents in the virtual machine to collect the logs. And we will also see how we can check the logs in uh, log analytics workspace and set up the alert rules as well on that. So that you can constantly monitor your application logs. If there is something wrong in that, then alerts will be created. Okay, that's it from this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe my channel. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.